What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. Today we have a kiln unloading video. Uh, but first I wanted to share with you, we just got this concrete pad all done for the new gas kiln, which I am picking up a week from today. So, very exciting, this eight by 12 foot. We have to get the kiln, put the kiln on the slab, and then build a shed around the kiln. So that's what's on the docket for the next few weeks is get the gas kiln, um, make a bunch of stuff, test it in the gas kiln, cone 10 reduction. I'm not, I want to keep my expectations at a manageable level. But for this video, a full kiln of a lot of Minnesota mugs. So Minnesota mugs are these mugs that I've been making for years now. They basically just have the shape of the state of Minnesota, which is where I am from, on them. And we sell them at my coffee shop, Mocha Monkey. So if you're new to the channel, I own some coffee shops. Uh, my studio was at the coffee shop for a while, but now I have this nicer studio at my house. And anyway, we've been uh, slacking on this. So now that I've had Kai working in here for a couple weeks, we can finally get stocked back up at the coffee shop on Minnesota mugs and uh, some other things, planters. So this glaze is Mako Shino. So if you guys are potters, you're uh, familiar with a Shino glazes which typically are done at higher fire, but looks pretty good at cone seven right here. We are uh, very excited to try this Makoshino in the gas kiln. That's gonna be awesome. But you get lots of different colors and lots of you know, lighter browns, like speckles in there, so pretty cool. This is brand new to me. I've never really used this one before, so it's exciting. Um, and then planters. We always uh, partner with a local floral sh shop and they will plant, we pay them to plant plants in here, uh, and then we have them at the coffee shop for sale. And so it's a kind of a win-win, because if they don't sell, then they just are pretty decorative plants, and then if they do sell, well, then we get to make more. So we had about 12 last year, or last couple weeks ago, uh, and they all sold pretty quick, so making some more. There's another Makoshino. And then this is something I'm kind of excited about, an herb stripper bowl, so you like, put a thing like an herb in there and then you pull it through and then it strips it so that you have that ready. Definitely gonna be making some more videos about that. But that's one of the first ones out. Woo, yeesh. So I haven't been doing Northern Lights that much. So this is the first Northern Lights we've had in a while. Nice, another herb stripper. Uh, another one, another herb stripper. That one's just got three holes. There we go. And then that's the black gray Minnesota. Oh, they're cool. Oh, they're really cool looking. And then alabaster over black loss. And then this is my new favorite, Desert Sunset. Green tea over copper ore from Mako. And then, ooh, that's nice. Look at that, I haven't done this combo very much. Raspberry Mist over alabaster. Wow, that's very, very pink. Love it. And then another planter. And Minnesota mug with blue surf over alabaster. Nice. Whew, so far this kill mode is really good. Love it. Look at that green tea drip right over the Minnesota. That's a really nice green. Really nice. Planter. Boom. So, oh, that's so cool. Minnesota mug. Look at that Minnesota mug. What? What is that? Craziness. So cool. Look at where the glaze pools and it gets like this blue color, which is super cool contrasting with the oranges and the yellows and the copper and the, just love it. I love it. Got another one of those. Blue surf over alabaster. Woo. And this has been a popular shape that I've been doing. So with like a starting out and make an angle up and then kind of either straight or in and then have that alabaster over black just like drip. That's really cool. Super cool. That's just a really nice gray. Really nice white gray. Lots of texture in there. I like that one a lot. That'll be another fun one to see at cone 10. Reduction. Another Duns Desert Sunset Planter. Oof. There's the northern lights I've been missing. That, whoo, really cool. There it is. Greens and blues and rust and black and just lots going on. All right, 
Wow, that's awesome. I gotta do some more Northern Lights, quick. Right now. I gotta stop what I'm doing and do more Northern Lights. There's a Raspberry Mist over Alabaster. I don't know how many people are in the market for pink planters, but if it's you, I got them. I'll have a few planters. Next restock is June 4th. Sunday, June 4th. Definitely have these in there. Definitely have some Northern Lights. Some Insanity mugs, hopefully. Oh, had some drippage there. Some winter wood with Minnesota and trees. Looks nice. Just a nice, solid glaze. Couple, ooh, that's nice. Copper ore with green tea on top. Excited to restock. Mocha Monkey, it's been so long. It's been a while since I've had a good selection of Minnesota mugs. Whoosh, nice, look at that. Deer, man, that is close. Still so thick. I feel like I thinned out all those glazes and still, but pretty good, pretty good. Uh, planter, Northern Lights planter, love it. Another Northern Lights planter. Tons of variation, I love that when there's like lots of green going on and then it goes to blue and then it goes to rust. And just how like that green peeks through there. Love it. Uh, this is the only one of the whole kiln that really, really dripped bad, but not too bad. Can be salvaged for sure. And then, nice. Really good, really, really good. Boom. All right, so now we're gonna take these to Mocha Monkey. So I'll save a few of these for the restock on June 4th, but typically like, a lot of you guys are from all over the place, so Minnesota mugs don't do quite as well online as they do in the local area. So we're gonna grind the bottom of these, get them all smooth, ready to go, bring them to the coffee shop, uh, and then that'll be it. So let's go get them put into the coffee shop. This is how I bring pottery to Mocha Monkey. Just throw it all in my car and hope it doesn't break. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Next restock, June 4th, and then we have an art market coming up in June, and then we have the Epic Pottery event in August, and it's gonna be awesome. So, thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.